and my name is Ryotaro Muramatsu uh, from Neki Dink uh, and uh, from Japan. So at this time, uh, this is uh, my private artwork uh, because usually I, as uh, Neki Dink, uh, I have many big events, so I just wanted to have some private uh, art. So. I did it. Uh, this is this name is Hazama in Japanese, uh, space between. So I wanted to focus on you know, shore, shoreline. Shoreline is uh, has no border. I mean, this is ocean, this is land, but we call this part ocean. We call this part land, but borderlines not clear, you know. Mm -hmm. Flow of different types of energy. Mm -hmm. He was interested in that concept. So this is the borderline between, of course, the land and the sea, but also life and death and existence and non-existence. There is very, um, it's a very ambiguous. Um, place the shoreline. That's why he chose. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's very really beautiful. And what kind of material is it? Well, this side, the formative part of it, it's actually real sand. Oh wow! Yeah, real, real sand, sand on it. right? And as wow. you see, it's three dimensional, and it kind of makes shadows. And as you can see, the images they're used. Um, it's projection mapping. Yeah. Another, another thing we use is interactive technology. So there's a sensor on this piece. So when you, before you approach the piece, the waves are very quiet. Uh -huh. so when you approach it, the waves, the tide starts to rise. Or he doesn't want to make it feel like digital art. So him, he doesn't think he's a digital artist. He wants to make the piece feel as natural, as organic as possible. So that's why we usually try to hide our projectors or anything that makes you feel the technology behind it. It's digital, but also use like, as many different elements as we can. And sound is something that gives reality to like digital images or something like this. And also sense to smell. We, for our events, we create our own smell. So now let's maybe go quickly to, to other uh, artwork, which mm -hmm. which I love so much, is a uh, chill. Chill. Mean chill. Mean chill. Chill is a pun on the Japanese word for flutter. Chiru means for uh, carrying for flower petals to fall. So chill is like kind of a pun on that because you can also chill. Yeah. When you approach the piece, the cherry blossoms start to turn pink. In this one, we also use combined te um, digital technology with formatting. So those trees, we actually went out to pick out the real trees. The birds and butterflies, they kind of pop out from the cherry blossoms and fly away, and then they kind of vanish like sumi ink. It's, it's really that the trees are real, right? So yeah. that's the, the, again, the free, the elements. Yes. Of it. And then this is like a window, you know. The one is divided into four, mm -hmm. so it looks like you're um, looking out of a window. Yes, um, absolutely. And that is also a concept often used in Japanese architecture or art where um, there was to use the outside scenery to create the whole atmosphere, the whole space. What is the idea of? This one is Aritayaki. Mm -hmm. It's famous. Aritayaki is a famous type of porcelain that is made in the south side of Japan and Saga. And so in the middle, it's very beautiful. It's very beautiful. It's a different job. We were working with a craftsman. Mm -hmm. And he was really inspired by very their work. Very thin. And for example, this is very, very thin. Mm -hmm. It's called an eggshell. It's a thin wow. And this technique has existed, existed since the Edo period, so it's very long, long has a very long history, but it's still relevant. Porcelain, do you know, it's a skill. 
時期で言うと陶器とはあると、時期は透けないけど、陶器は透けるの。Porcelain、um, this then can reflect, you can see from the outside. And for this, we project images inside, so it looks like the porcelain,、oh, wow. the bowl itself is. So it's actually projected inside, and then you have different, and you can see it from outside. If we wanted to make the images clear, very clear, we would project from the outside. Yes. The concept for this is a bowl of light. You're free connected. Are they?、Uh... The beginning is the start is the same, where a drop of liquid dro-、um, falls into the bowl of light.、Mm-hmm. But each liquid is different. The one we saw, that's sumi ink. Japanese traditional ink for calligraphy. This one is water, so you'll see different shapes, different forms of H2O. It's like water flowing, and then it's kind of misty, and then it turns a little icy. And... So this one is interesting too. This one is rain, but we often use the kaleidoscope pattern, the mandala pattern, because the artist is very fascinated by those types of patterns. So. We use them in many of our work, like a rainbow.、Mm-hmm. So it kind of looks like a rainbow. That was the original idea、yeah. for the water and the light to meet, and then it kind of turns into colorful.、Mm-hmm. So we used a kaleidoscope pattern. Beautiful. So、uh, this is my first private exhibition, art exhibition in Hong Kong、uh, at the Eight Queens.、Uh, White Stone Gallery. So please、uh, enjoy and see my work.